Here's how to enter a confidence interval for a standard deviation. The problem I'm solving, I took from my video titled 7.5, part four, standard deviation, etc. at timestamp two minutes and 35 seconds, this particular problem displays, and I've shown the answer that we need to receive. So for our calculator, I'm gonna turn it on. Why is it not turning on? There we go. And I want to take the square root of something, but remember, since the square root is in light purple above x squared, I first need to hit the light blue or light purple button and then hit x squared so I see this square root display. I'm now ready to do the interior part of the square root. I've written it out in the format following the formula, n minus 1 times s squared all over your chi-squared table value, but I'm not gonna need all of these parentheses if I go ahead and subtract one from the sample size myself. So five minus one is just four. And now without needing another set of parentheses, I can hit times S, my sample standard deviation of 1.41421. Super important, do not forget to square that. That is the most common mistake I see. I'm going to continue dividing by my denominator which was the table value 9.488. And I've got everything I need on the inside of my square root, so I can go ahead and hit enter, and I get the lower bound number of 0.91, et cetera. And on this calculator, to go ahead and do this again, instead of typing this, this all over again, since the numerators stay the same, I can go ahead and hit up arrow, and now I'm in the line I just typed. And I'm going to arrow over to where the denominators need to change. Um, a couple different ways you could do this. You could start by going as far back as you need and hitting del, delete, until you get right before the division sign, and then type the 0.711. You could also just type 0.711 over this, but notice three digits versus four. You would need to remember to delete that last eight. I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter, and I get my upper bound of 3.35, etc. Remember, we're essentially creating a confidence interval around 1.4, etc. Is 1.4 inside this range? It is, so I feel pretty confident that my math should be right.